Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So last month around mid-March, we scored a huge victory in Nguyen v. Bonta, which is a case that challenges California's 1 in 30 law, which says that you can only get one firearm every 30 days. So after that first day, you have 30 more days where you simply don't have access to your Second Amendment rights. That's a huge problem, one of the worst laws, uh, not only in California, but in the entire country. Well, a federal district court judge decided that it was unconstitutional and placed an injunction against that. Well, there's been some updates in that case, and you will not believe some of the stuff that California has to say about it. So let's talk about what's going on. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here. So while that was a significant victory, we have a district court judge that says that California's 1 in 30 law is unconstitutional. There was also a downside, and the downside is that judge placed a 30-day stay on his own order, basically preventing his own order from going into effect until California had time to appeal. Now, obviously, California is going to take advantage of that 30-day stay and file an appeal which they did the very next day. They filed an appeal up to the Ninth Circuit Court. Now, I don't understand why the judge put a 30-day stay on his own order. If the judge determined that, the, that California is violating the Constitution, there shouldn't be any stay on that. We shouldn't allow them to violate the Constitution for another 30 days while they try and get an appeal. The law violates the Constitution. It should be struck down while they look for their appeal to the Ninth Circuit. Either way, they filed for that appeal very next day. Now, here we are uh, yesterday, the state of California determines that, well, the Ninth Circuit is just moving too slow for us, and we're gonna file for an emergency motion for a stay. So California's basically asked the Ninth Circuit to hurry up, move on this, and give us a stay, extending the stay, so that the time doesn't lapse, that 30-day time frame doesn't elapse on the judge's order, because if that 30 days is allowed to expire, the law is no longer, it's unconstitutional, the injunction takes place, and that's that's it for the one in 30 thing. But they're asking for an extension on that stay that was granted by the judge. So in their emergency motion to the Ninth Circuit for that emergency appeal, they wrote something that's just gonna make your head spin. Now, I don't know if you remember, when the Bruin decision first came out, all of these you know, anti-2A governors, they came out saying it's the worst decision they've ever seen. The, you know, the president came out and said it's the worst decision they've ever seen. And some people said that it made the Supreme Court illegitimate. But since then, for some reason, they've been trying to prove that everything that they have done up until this date falls well within Bruin, that it actually doesn't affect them at all. So which one is it? it was, was Bruin terrible or did Bruin uphold what you're trying to do? Because according to this, Bruin actually supports the one in 30 law. Let's, let, let me just read this to you real quick. Now, if you even only have two brain cells, you're gonna wanna sit down for this one because California basically says here that they don't believe that the Constitution protects the conduct of buying more than one a month. So it says here, on the merits, the district court's application of the framework in NYSRPA v. Bruin misunderstood the scope of the conduct protected by the Second Amendment, as well as the standards required under Bruin's historical inquiry. In particular, the Second Amendment's text concerning keeping and bearing arms does not cover the unconditional right to purchase firearms, let alone a right to purchase any number of firearms in a single 30-day period. Listen, I don't usually use foul language on this channel, but I gotta tell you right now, there are some pretty choice words that are bubbling up inside me that I just really want to get out because the author of that, this, the author of this is absolutely so lost that they don't even have a basic understanding of what the second amendment means. Uh, a right delayed is a right denied. So even if they were to say you can only have one in every four days, that would still be a right denied. They don't have even the basic understanding of that. They think that as long as they let you get that one and you now own that one, that's it. They allowed you to practice your Second Amendment rights. They didn't hold that without you because they don't believe that the Constitution protects your ability to get another one the next day. Now, almost nothing happens fast up at the Ninth Circuit. They are notorious for delaying things, but you have to remember that they also typically side with the state of California and do California's bidding. And since California just filed that emergency say yesterday, uh, we could still be seeing something come of that fairly soon. When it comes to these emergency appeals, emergency motions for stays, a, a lot of times it's gonna happen within a week. So we should know fairly soon whether or not the Ninth Circuit is gonna look at this and decide that they're going to uh, uphold 
the injunction or if they're going to extend the stay. And if they extend the stay, we know pretty much exactly where the Ninth Circuit sits on this thing. Now, I don't see how the Ninth Circuit looks at this, uh, even through the lens of, of California and the way that they wrote this up and see it as anything but unconstitutional. You have an entire 30 day period here, which is longer than the month of February, where somebody is unable to access their rights. Now, I wanted to let you know about that, and I wanted to point out the hypocrisy of, of the Bruin decision and how they said that this is going to change things forever, and it's completely against safety, and now all of a sudden everything that they've done up until this point falls well within the Bruin decision. They, they can't seem to make their minds up of whether it's a bad thing or a good thing, uh, but that's kind of where we stand today. So fairly soon here, we will have a decision from the Ninth Circuit, and we'll see if the 1 in 30 day law has an injunction against it, which means no more one in 30, or if they extend that stay. I think that most of us know where this is probably going to go, but I try and stay optimistic and hopeful. So we'll see. Anyway, I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.